We're going to take a look at some cut-ups of the vertical dig concept provided by Josiah Sears, the offensive coordinator at Wheaton College in Illinois. Wheaton is coming off a tremendous year. I believe they finished eighth in the country in Division Three. Did a terrific job offensively scoring over 29 points a game. And his vertical dig concept was a big reason why. Um, we're going to walk you through. There's about seven clips here, coaches, and uh, you can have the full-length narrated version as well as the unnarrated cut-ups uh, if you become an insider member at xandolabs.com. All insider members would get access to Coach Sears' full-length clinic report as well as his unnarrated game clip. So we'll take a look at a couple here. This is out of three-by-one set, which many of these are. Okay, and Coach does a good job detailing the route specifics in the clinic report. But basically what you're going to get to the three-man side is a vertical. Okay, Coach did change that up from a curl. You're going to get an in route by number two, a vertical by number three. Okay, and free access throw bakes on the X based on what the quarterback and coach sees to the backside of trips. Here you're going to see a Tampa 2 look. Okay, by the secondary, you see right now what's going to happen is you're going to have two deep safeties here. Okay, the Mike linebacker is going to bail. He's going to open up towards number three. All right, so right now the quarterback knows he's going to take the matchup as, a quarter, as he works to number three here. Okay, here comes the dig coming back inside there. The quarterback chooses to take the matchup on the vertical. Okay, on the linebacker. This is a tremendous throw, and this helps the situation. We've got a quarterback could throw the ball like this, but a terrific grab by the receiver and a big catch for Wheaton. I don't know how much we could garner from the end zone shot, but you do see the linebacker over here opening up his hips, trying to find a way to number two. Not able to hold him, gets behind the safety. Okay, you're going to see another Tampa 2 look here. As you see right now, this linebacker is not disguising anything. Okay, so he's going to open up right there. To the vertical of number two here comes the in coming right behind it good window right here player should sit down in zone coverage continues to run through it because the quarterback sees it pretty big completion You know, and this is an, an example of the quarterback throwing that Y open. Quarterback knows he's going to continue. The stats continue. And get behind that. Now what you're going to see is a kind of prevent defense here. you got a three-man front. Uh, I think Coach Sears mentioned this is late in the half. Okay, so it's a man under concept. So in this situation, the quarterback's going to take his best matchup. And in this situation, there's no doubt, you know, if you have that inside linebacker working over here, you have a linebacker here on number two, okay? This player's working on a vertical route. Sorry about that, coaches. We'll go back here for a second. All right, so you do have the end cut over here, and then you have a one-on-one -on -one with the vertical. Two pretty good matchups. Coach talks about a comeback by X, which he goes involved in the full-length clinic report, and he does have variations of that if it's a free access throw. And he's able to hit the vertical right there. So, I mean, that's what you want in man coverage. You know, if you're going to get man, you got your best concept here. you got your best matchup. He's going to decide to throw there. It's a good matchup for him offensively. Quarterback sees it, nobody in the middle of the field. Man free concept, it's right there. Okay, now what's going to happen in this situation, you're going to have a cover two look. So the quarterback is going to change the concept. Okay, what he's going to look, there's no alley player to the backside. And Coach Sears talks about the backside combinations that he'll run with this. But what he's going to see right now is the X is going to just run the slant window because there's no alley defender, so that changes him. But now, because there's no help, you got a 3 over 2 to this side for the most part with an apex linebacker over here. The quarterback's going to look to that three-man side, and he's going to take a shot. There's the vertical by number 3. 
just outruns everybody. Terrific ball, terrific catch. I mean, terrific ball placement, especially since the safety stays on the hash. Okay, now we're going to check to see, see more of a cover three look. There's a free safety deep. Okay, corners not disguised in anything. They're going to stay deep at seven to eight yards. You got your best matchup on the X. Okay, in this situation, it's going to be a skinny post. He's going to attack right to the middle of the field safety. I mean, that safety's put in the bind. He's going to have a vertical this way. Coach talks about the, the technique of the route on the skinny, just get in front of that safety, and he does there. Watch 22 here. You know, that, that, that should be all that quarterback needs to see by his eyes. Once he starts cheating by that three-receiver side, you know he's going to zing it right in that alley, and he does. Now, this is very interesting, too, because now to the single receiver side, you still have a free safety, so you have a cover three shell. Now, the difference is the skinny post does a great job of putting width. So watch the skinny post. So he's able to stretch that, and because he's stretching vertically, that free safety now has to stretch vertically. So there's a big coaching point here. Okay, so why that's important. Now, what's going to happen is the vertical here, there's going to be a pocket right there. There's room to throw the vertical. The in route looks like it's covered, but because that skinny post stretches that free safety, that's a pretty good idea that there's going to be room to throw the ball to number three in the vertical in that window. He, ch he chooses to go to the skinny post, and it was a good decision. I mean, you see that cavity is a lot of space right there. I mean, that's safe to see if he's over-rotated, quarterback sees it. Okay, there's a lot of grass here. He could attack with that skinny post. And again, coaches, the full-length clinic report is available by becoming an insider member. Coach Sears from Wheaton College talks about the, the variations as well as the specific route progression that his receivers won, run this vertical dig concept. Okay, last one we're going to show you here. This is a, a pretty good teaching tape here. As you see, the, the Y is going to be too slow. Now, coach adjusted this. Okay, with this, Obviously, there's no spacing here. It, now it's just a vertical takeoff, Okay, an outside release. They run a, a curl in this situation, which totally does not mesh with the timing of the vertical. So coach did change that. And if you see the X now, he's breaking the route off because he's locked up in man coverage and he's tight. Okay, Coach talks more about that. In the report, he's, he's changed that now where that doesn't happen. But he did want to show us that to show you that the curl would not be feasible in this concept by number one. Coaches, our thanks again to Coach Josiah Sears at Wheaton College in Illinois. And um, we appreciate you logging in.